So yeah, we're on three quest lines now. That's interesting. And what the hell? <gasps> we are actually building a tank. Are you serious? What is going on guys? Dre here and welcome back to 60 Seconds Reatomized. Today we're going to be doing another run. I want to see if we can get one of the newer endings. Last episode we were actually successful and we uh, survived, but we had one of the government endings which were I believe one of the older endings in this game. So I'm going to try and see if we can actually get one of the new endings because I hear you can actually make a car in this game. Uh, you can do a few other things, so that sounds really exciting, and I want to see how far we can get. So, once again, we're going to pick up everything that we can. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to stay out of that room for a second here. I got a lot of food already, so I want to get some of the other stuff. Checkerboard. I guess we'll grab that food. We have a lock over there. I got to go quick. I'm really wanting the gas mask. Oh, look at that. Speak of the devil. We got that there. Uh, briefcase does come in handy, especially for uh, going out on adventures because we can hold more. So we'll do that. Once again, I don't think I'm... I, I hate this, but my daughter, she's so heavy. I don't think we're going to take the daughter once again. We got the bug spray or whatever that is, poison. Uh, so that's good. If I could get the map, that'd be great. I'm going to try and run for that right now. I think this is the map over here. Oh, God. Okay, what do we got over here? Oh, this is going to be close. This is going to be close. Is there anything else I can grab? I don't think so. I'm not going to risk it. All right. I would have liked to get a little bit more at the start, but we got the mask. We got the gun, I think. We got the axe. So we got a lot of really good stuff. And this time, like I said, I'm hoping we don't get the same ending because uh, I want to see some of these new ones. Okay. The suitcase had a flashlight and a med kit in it. So perfect. We also got the med kit. Uh, we actually got a really well stocked out place right now. Uh, we're not going to ration any supplies. Much better than our original run, so hopefully we can do well here um, and see how far we can get. So the starting is going to be pretty dry, so we'll just get to the interesting stuff. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can survive this. I'm feeling pretty good considering the amount of stock that we have. We, oh man, we got pretty much the majority of the stuff. The only thing, okay, we don't have the radio. That's one thing we really could use as well. But the radio is actually mostly for the government, so maybe we don't want that uh, so we can get these other endings. Now, you guys also let me know we randomly got the Boy Scout book inside the shelter itself. Uh, the Boy Scout book, it gives the benefit of having five days between food feedings. Uh, so we should be able to even survive longer on no food. So I'm, I'm excited about this run, man. I've never had a better stocked uh, shelter, I do not think. Okay, and uh, the contamination of our town is still strong. These conditions could result in radiation sickness. Now, obviously, the gas mask will help against that, but being that we're so stocked, I do not want to take the risk right now. I think we're just going to bunker down, see what can happen. Uh, mutated rodents are attacking our supplies. We're not sure if they're rats, feral bunnies, or just mutated hamsters. Um... I don't know if I want to use my gun because I don't think I have any ammo, so it wouldn't really make sense, right? I think you actually do need to find ammo. So I'm going to try the axe. We'll see what happens here. And yeah, like I said, we're going to skip scavenging for at least a couple days. Uh, just because we have so much food, we don't really need to worry too much. And I want to see if people will come to us. All right, day four, and it's still highly radioactive. And it's probably going to be highly radioactive for a long time. So uh, I did have to feed these guys today. Well, I, I actually didn't feed them. I gave them water. So I do want to go out and I think we should take the risk here once again I think we're gonna send Timmy out on an adventure tomorrow just because why not uh, knock knock this sound always surprises and confusing us uh, it could mean anything good or bad we're always curious should we open the door you know what last episode I took some risks and I won I'm gonna take a risk again today I'm always curious who's out there and maybe we can make a friend early on in this game or an enemy I mean we're not gonna know until right now is that new there's a little drawing on the wall so I'm wondering what that is uh, a group of travelers wearing gas masks and carrying some serious looking equipment gave us purified water. Before we could thank them, they turned away and left. Interesting. I don't know if we should trust that water. Unfortunately, opening that hatch was a bit risky and it seems it gave us some awful sickness. That coughing is driving us crazy. Um, so who's sick? All of us? Oh, it's Dolores once again. Okay, I'm not gonna use the med kit just yet. I will use it relatively quickly, but I want to see if she can maybe fight it off. So we were doing some interior decorating in our shelter, and we found a secret door. Now, oh, I gave... God damn it, Timmy, I should have gave him the axe. Uh, we found a secret door. I have to go check it out. I'm going to... Oh, man. There's going to be something that's definitely going to bite me in there. Um, 
Yeah, screw it. I'm gonna try it. We'll see what happens. I, I'm clearly accepting the majority of the things today, just out of curiosity. And hopefully, well... Ooh. He, he does, he does, does he look a little crazy now, or is it just me? Oh, well, we inspected the uh, corner of the room and found nothing. Well, that was a waste of time. Way to get me excited, game. All right, now this is what I'm talking about. Our map has some written mysterious directions. Uh, definitely we're gonna go on a treasure chase. Once again, I'm gonna send out Dolores here. Uh, I don't know why. I feel like she's just a really strong woman and she can survive it. Uh, so hopefully I don't regret that. She's still totally fine. Okay, what'd you find? I'm curious. Uh, those map directions were a cruel joke or just a child's playful imagination. God damn it! I, I'm accepting things and they're going nowhere in this run. And of course, for some reason, these guys just can't chill in the shelter. They decided to peek out to see if the store around the corner was still standing and something growled at us. So, um, I'm thinking bu bug spray? Uh, well, what's a flashlight gonna do? Maybe scare it off? Maybe bother it for it, us to, for it to attack us? Once again, little Timmy has the rifle, so the one thing that would be, you know, pretty much the guaranteed option is gone. So I'm gonna try and use the bug spray. Hopefully, uh, oh god, because if we get damaged, we don't have a med kit, and... Okay, these guys are good. Hopefully, uh, that guy went away. Insect killing spray can wipe out any mutated mosquito as well as creatures lurking in the shadows. It didn't bother us again. Okay, but unfortunately, that thing's gone now. So, today's a big day. We answered the phone. We could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves to survivors from a nearby town on Hill Valley. Okay, so these are the guys we saw last time that I couldn't really help. We had started exchanging information when the call cut short. Something must have given, uh, have, have, sorry, has gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us. Okay, Timmy came back. He's got his briefcase. Uh, he went to the supermarket, I guess, and he got, wow! He got six water and a radio. Okay. Unfortunately, he lost some, two of the best items of the game, in my opinion. Uh, so I don't know if this was worth it. Hopefully, it is. I mean, now we can listen to the radio at least, but we need a gun to defend ourselves. Ah, uh, so hopefully we can find one of those soon. So there's a guy on the other side of our door claiming that he's willing to offer a lot for decent ammunition. Uh, do not have ammunition, but so, for some reason I can also trade my checker set. Checker set and the cards are very similar items, so screw it. I think I'll try it just out of morbid curiosity. Why can I choose checkers? Let's see what happens here. Okay, so people are laughing? Uh-oh. We offered checkers instead of ammunition. The visitor was quite confused. <laughs> so am I, and tried to explain to us what ammunition is. We pretended to understand nothing. It was very amusing until he left with our checkerboard. Damn it! I should have knew known that was a bad idea. All right, and for this adventure, let's get Ted to go out there. We're gonna give him... <sighs> Do we wanna give him the ax? The only other defense that we have is the bug spray and the padlock. So, you know what? It's probably smart to give him the axe. That being said, those people, I believe they wanted to uh, borrow our axe. So, if we want to build that car or whatever it is, I'm pretty sure it's a car. I think we're going to have to keep our axe. So, you know what? I'm actually going to keep the uh, suitcase here. And I think I'll just give him the map. Don't know if that's going to help anything. But it's better than nothing. And I don't think we need the map right now. Looks like when we were playing with our radio, we stumbled across a frequency that is a voice? So, of course I'm gonna listen to that. It could be the Soviets. Um, but what about the children? I, screw Timmy. I'm curious, man. Let's see what that voice was all about. Okay, so far so good. These guys are actually looking a little better right now. So, so, so we're actually doing okay. We were relieved at first when we figured out it wasn't the Soviets we heard. Turned out it was Canadians. Oh, hey, that's me. Which isn't that much better. Wow. Okay, game. Uh... I'm just not going to put you on my channel anymore then. Either way, they're foreigners and we couldn't understand what they were saying. Not a word. How disappointing. Is the Canadian accent really that bad, guys? Come on now. Our favorite radio station stopped broadcasting when we tried other frequencies. We found nothing but static. Uh, I don't think we should tinker with our radio state with our radio. I just feel like they're definitely going to break it. So we can definitely use that radio. I'm going to say no on this one. Uh, that's the first thing I've de I've declined, I think, and we're already on day 20. Hopefully I don't regret that. Oh, God, Ted. Ted, what happened to you, my dude? You're still alive. That's the important part. We got a gas mask! Okay. He found his way to a nearby hospital. Uh, heavy structural damage is still standing. The site wasn't pretty, though. What used to be inside the hospital is now all over the place. Whatever survived the blast wave anyways. Oh, Ted, you are MVP, dude. I just noticed we got a med kit as well. Uh, let's see what we got then. Some soup, the med kit... 
and of course the gas mask. All we need now is that gun, and we are good to go. Uh, how are we doing? Uh, let me actually just check through here. Do we have anybody that's starving? Nope. Hungry, thirsty, tired, hungry, all good. They should be totally fine. Gonna prep tomorrow. Uh, Dolores will have to go out because she's the only one that's actually somewhat okay. The last time we went on an expedition, we noticed an abandoned tank just sitting there out in the open. It looks damaged, but it may contain useful supplies. Hell yes! I'm not gonna send... Actually, should I send Dolores? Because she's the only one... No, Ted. No, actually, Timmy. Timmy's expendable, man. We're gonna send Timmy out. Oh, God. I hope I don't regret this. Timmy! T Timmy just grew an afro overnight. That's impressive. Where's your eyeballs, my dude? Okay, the these haircuts, man. We're gonna need some scissors soon. These, these are just awful. Okay, all we could find inside the shell of the wreck tank were some loose rounds of ammunition. Hell yeah, that's good. Now all we need is the damn gun. Okay, Dolores is going out today, so I'm gonna give her a full meal. How are we doing it? Uh, Ted is starving, so we're gonna give him some soup as well. Should we give Timmy some soup? No, he's just hungry. Uh, if they're hungry, we're totally fine, so I think that should be good. Uh, and once again, like I said, Dolores is gonna go out. Should I give her... Huh... I'm just trying to decide. I feel like uh, just giving these things is so hard. At least give her the gas mask. We're going to do that, and hopefully I don't re regret this decision. We received a mysterious note today politely requesting that we share some supplies with other survivors. We have no idea who it might be from, but whoever wrote this also included a few words of encouragement saying that we will be in some way rewarded for our generosity. Yes! This is what I'm talking about. Now, we're actually kind of low on soup, but... Uh, I'm willing to risk this just out of curiosity, so let's see what happens tomorrow on the big day 23. I'm really hoping we can help or we'll work with another tribe. I think Timmy's starting to lose his mind. He's going a little bit crazy. He should probably cut his hair so we can actually see. Uh, the authors of the note turned out to be twin siblings, a brother and sister. They greeted us happily and took us to a small tent where, where they started handing out supplies we brought to a small group of hungry survivors. Between them were people of all ages, including children, elderly, and even a mine. A mime of all people. I wonder if that's a reference to something. The siblings shook our hands and proclaimed, this is the beginning of a new friendship. They promised to contact us again soon. This is what I'm talking about. So we have uh, this checklist here. We could obviously go down the military road again, but I don't want to do that. So I might not even listen to the radio anymore. Because uh, I really want to work with these survivors and see where this goes. Once again, we have the man with four arms at our, do our doorstep saying they would repay us uh, if we give them some supplies by helping fight off the next, the next raiding party. You know what? I'm just trying to make as many allies as possible. I'm, I'm way too trustworthy, clearly. Hopefully this guy, the four-armed guy, doesn't screw us over. Oh, Ted, you're not looking too good, buddy. I mean, you both of you are really not looking too good anymore. Whether it was pity or just fear of bandits, we're not sure, but the end we agreed to his terms. We'll be calmer knowing that someone else is looking out for us. Okay, so that's good. Man, we're gonna really... We still got lots of water, at least, but we're gonna have to get some soup here soon. We played a game of list things you hate. Oh, and our neighbors kept coming up for some reason. Um, okay, so I think this is the last time... Uh, Dolores killed our neighbors. So once again, I don't I don't I don't want to put Timmy in this position and I know Dolores is a crazy lady So we're gonna get her to go over there and uh, yeah, I think we get lots of food by doing this So it's a good thing. I played fully through this. Oh god Dolores. What happened to you this time? Um, when we opened the safe we heard a loud bang and the room filled with thick nasty smoke Oh Random things can happen because last time this definitely didn't happen the bastard booby trapped the safe. Sure, it slowed us down, but it didn't stop us from taking the most prized possessions. Take that, Ned. Uh, too bad we won't ever get the stench off our clothes now. Um, and Sherikov's back in our shelter this morning. Okay, Sherikov, welcome back. Oh, good news. The siblings have visited today. They told us they're searching town for a safe place that would do well as a possible camp. So far, the group has been living in a tent, but they're picking up more wastelanders every day and they simply don't have enough space. They mentioned a map of the neighborhood could be very helpful. Well, here you go, my dudes. I hope you're not screwing me over because you just took my freaking map and that's pretty damn important. Oh, I guess they didn't take it. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm happy about this now. Okay, so we were happy to see them again. We quickly handed them our map and pointed out several locations that might be worth checking out. They left before it got dark to still get a few hours of scouting daylight. But when they but they said they would be definitely be back again to share some news and a friendly chat. We hope to they find a good place. Maybe we could visit them when the camp is ready. Okay, I'm excited, man. 
And Timmy survived the day of starvation, so we are not going to give Dolores food right now because she's starving as well. Uh, we're just going to have to really scavenge our food the best we can. I don't know how many days we can go with starving. Uh, Curiosity almost killed the cat. Sherikov found a tiny wire sticking out from the ceiling and pulled it out. Plaster and debris fell on our table, topped off with a big meowing furball. Another cat? Or, 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 or is that Sherikov himself? What is this thing anyways? Nobody remembers it being there before. The cat might get angry if we take it away. The wire. So maybe it's best to leave it, or should we examine that wire? Ooh, so this could either be some sort of technology, or it could electrocute me. You know what? I'm all for it. Oh, maybe we shouldn't. Oh, too late now, because I don't have a med kit anymore. Uh, well, Ted's back at least, and hopefully nobody got electrocuted. All right, I think we're good. Wait, Ted's not back. Why did I hear a door? We grabbed the cable and followed it to a rusty old truck parked in our neighbor's driveway? Upon opening the door, we were confronted with two men wearing huge headphones who looked extremely surprised to see us. They wiretapped our shelter. Oh my god. When we were asleep, and they were listening to everything we said, we gave them hell and marched back to our bunker. So, is the FBI or the government listening in on us? Oh, this is getting rough, man. Uh, we are running quickly out of food here. Uh, the first aid kit we have is useless. We probably won't be able to fill it up with prescription meds from a drugstore, so we need to take matters into our own hands. Here's an idea. Let us use this innocent-looking bug spray to create life-saving drugs. That's an awful idea. No, I'm, I'm, I'm actually stopping right now. You don't use bug spray to deal with anything. Bug spray is designed to kill things. That's an absolutely stupid idea. Oh, the agents are back that wiretapped us. Great. Should we hear them out? I don't know if I should trust them or not. Do I have an axe? I do have an axe, but I can't actually use it right now. So, eh. Curiosity killed the cat. Hopefully not re re realistically this time because the cat's my favorite character, damn it. Ah, let's see what happens. Well, they didn't kill us at least, so that's good. Uh, what went on though? They briefly waved some sort of ID cards in front of our faces and told us they're on a top secret government mission. The wiretap wasn't a spy on us, but rather on the cat. What is this cat, man? It's suspected of being a Soviet agent. I mean, it's called Sherikov. I'm actually kind of curious now. They're willing to let us into their super t top secret government safe house if we help them with some sort of top secret missions. They assured us they'd contact us again with more details. Interesting. So another storyline we could, I assume, go down. Uh, this time about the crazy Russian cat that we got, basically. Well, our last expedition brought news of a vehicle park just down the street. And we can actually go check it out, but we're almost certain it's not a bandit trap. So I'm thinking Dolores has been pretty strong. Ted's kind of rough right now. So we're going to send good old Ted out because uh, I got to send the weakest links at this point. And, oh man, I'm hoping we can do something with this car. All right, what happened today? I'm excited. Uh, a shocking discovery, it was a rusty tank. That's not a car at all. It was also a little, little crispy around the edges, and it was also missing wheels and some other crucial parts. Um, tanks, I mean, they have we they technically have wheels, but they have treads as well, so I don't know. But there were seats, were fairly comfortable. Seats, it's a tank. They're not comfortable at all. Wouldn't it be amazing to drive away and leave this radio radioactive hell behind us? In a tank? That sounds actually amazing. I am totally down for doing this. Well, the agents are back about our weird kitty. Um, I guess they're talking to us through paper cups and string. Great. I don't know if I should trust these guys at all then. Uh, they want us to go on one successful expedition and write down what we saw in the journal. Oh, that means I need another person to go. Okay, Ted, you go ahead, buddy, because I'm kind of curious where this is going to lead. I mean, this whole cat thing is really weird. Hopefully Ted doesn't get stalked or something. Oh, he's actually out. Okay. T Timmy's back, though. All right. Feeling a lot better now. We got soup. Uh, it's actually looking really good for these guys as well, so we're not going to give them anything. And there's a small muddy pond in the park nearby. Too bad we forgot our fishing rod. Perhaps we could try and fish something out in the nasty water using an old suitcase. How does that even make sense? Uh, I'll try it just out of morbid curiosity, but how does that make sense? So yeah, we're on three quest lines now. That's interesting. And what the hell? <gasps> we are actually building a tank. Are you serious? All right, I'm totally down for the tank build. Let's do it. And uh, I guess we're done for today. So yeah, is there anything else just out of curiosity? Okay, yeah, the, the whole fishing in the uh, pond thing. The suitcase wasn't exactly waterproof, plus the pond water stank to high heaven and was weirdly green, probably radioactive. Oh, great. The suitcase might have melted a little. It was worth it though, right? No, not at all. 
The friendly survivor group is back, and this time with some good news, they succeeded in building a small cozy camp. People are starting to move in, and between them are quite a few children. Some of these kids get in trouble way too often, getting lost between the ruins while playing tag. The group is looking for toys, games that would help keeping the kids safe and entertained. Um, I think we're going to give him the cards, or them the cards, just to uh, work on this quest line, and I think the checker set's going to be a little more important. The hell does this mean? We might not be safe inside these walls, but there are other problems to consider. We might end up falling asleep in the face of real danger like saucer men from Mars. Are you guys losing your mind writing these two? Like, what the hell is going on out there? Uh, bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get at least an hour or two of sleep. No luck. Oh, God. Okay, so yeah, there's something going on with Dolores. Uh, she's obviously... Oh, she's crazy now. Great. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all, but at least she's not... Contagious? As long as she doesn't kill anybody, I, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. Ah, oh, is that Ted? I heard the door. Ted, you back? Oh, Ted, you're not doing good, buddy. What? Oh, I, I thought his hand was chopped off. It's behind a soup can. Okay, what's, what's going on, Ted? Ted's, Ted's a superhero for some reason. Okay, we can take care of ourselves. That recon mission was risky business. We had to visit neighborhoods that were dicey even in the best of times. The area was full of mutated cats and dogs fighting each other in gangs. All of them armed to the teeth. We barely made it. Why is it always we, by the way? Only one person goes. I don't know. But yeah, just random thought. We barely made it out of there alive, but the agency knew appreciate our efforts. Let's hope these missions are actually worth it. Our... Bucket is just about due for an upgrade, and we're expecting the government shelter to have excellent bathroom. Maybe maybe even a hot tub. And, uh, these guys want to shave with an axe. I mean, I'd rather have a beard than chop off their neck, so I'm not going to take that risk. Once again, this agency, they just keep taking and not getting... Like, what the hell, government? You're supposed to help out the citizens. Uh, they want a pack of stuff, and we get a pat on the back. Great. Well, I have so much soup, or sorry, water. I think it's worth it here to just try this. Let's go down this quest line and see where it goes. Hopefully the uh, civilization comes back to us soon, because I really want to see what they're doing as well. Uh, but yeah, at this point, it's a waiting game. Looks like Ted and Dolores have some talking to do, so they want to go uh, on a picnic in the nearby park. I'm going to let them go. Honestly, I wouldn't be so mad if Dolores, you know, kind of dies right now, as sad as that is, because she's crazy. And you never know what crazy people are going to do. She's not dead, though, clearly, so I guess that's good. Nothing like a romantic outing to a ruined post-apocalyptic park. Complete with, complete with giggling and whispering sweet nothings over a shared can of tomato soup. You guys better not actually drink a can of tomato soup. I would have been pretty mad. And Dolores is very unpredictable. Sometimes we're a bit afraid of her. That's what I'm getting worried about. She might actually do something a little crazy. <gasps> Ted died? Oh my, I didn't expect that. I thought he would hopefully heal up over time. Clearly, that is not the case, and Ted, rest in peace, man. His wounds were too serious to leave untreated. Unfortunately, I had no choice. Well, I guess we have no choice but to try and keep Dolores alive now, and I'm gonna try and make... Tim I don't get why Timmy's so bad right now. He's totally fine. At least he looks like it, but I'm gonna give them some full food right now and see if maybe we can do something tomorrow. Let's open the door. I mean, it can't hurt now. There's someone knocking, and I'm always curious. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh, I got a cheat. What? Who are these people? Oh, these are the twins, aren't they? Okay, you came one day late. Ted died yesterday. What the hell? I can't actually click anything. Can I have your soup, sir? Um, oh, the book's over here. It was blended in with her hair. I didn't see it. For so long, we thought the world really turned into a cruel, unforgiving, hopeless place, but today, our views on it were cha challenged when the siblings and a few other people from their group visit us with an invitation to come live with them in the freshly built, fully functional camp. This is our chance to have a normal life again, being between friendly and good people, taking care of each other during the good and the bad, and uniting together against all evils of the wasteland. This is an emotional moment for us, and at a time to leave our dark but cozy shelter on a way to bri a brighter future. Farewell, our humble little home. We're starting a new life today. Okay, hopefully they have med kits, because we really need those things. So, we didn't build the car, which I was really hoping we could actually get to, but we kind of got on that quest line. And there we go. You survived. Wait, where, where's Timmy? Timmy? Timmy didn't die today, did he? I mean, what? Did this, seriously, did the crazy lady be the only one that survived? 
Whatever. We actually won again, which is surprising, and uh, that feels pretty good. So, two runs and two survivals. Way better than I've ever done in this game. Okay! And now we have a tank in our front yard, so I'm thinking we can actually continue building this tank now in our next runs, because I've noticed this in other people's playthroughs, that if you're building something, you can actually continue building it. So... Maybe, just maybe, we can build a tank and get out of here. I don't know if you guys want to see any more of this, but let me know in the comments below. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of 60 Seconds re -atomized. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.